Hi guys, it's your girl Trini, aka you know who. It is, I don't know what time it is, kind of late. I was actually in bed already, but I decided I wanted to come and give you a little update of what's going on with me. Well, why did I do that? Hmm? Maybe I should just put it on. Oh, enough to guard it. Don't look, don't, don't look at my back. I don't know garbage can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can fix Turn it upside down. Like this. Yes. I'm already I'm ready for bed. I just put this. Okay. So I just wanted to come and give you an update on oh my skin looks so ashy. So it's it's like really cold in Florida. Really, really, really cold. Yeah. Okay, so listen, I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on. I'm, I promise that I'm going to give you an update on the food, intake, and all of that stuff. I am. Probably tomorrow or Sunday, one of them days. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys something that Trini, a.k.a. Natalie, oh, is no longer a 300-pound girl. I'm no longer a 300 pound girl. I am 298.8. Bam, 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 bam. 298. Now, even though it's a glass of water away from 300, but once you see peekable off the 200s, that means you're going to claim that 200. And that means that 200 pound is mine. I am claiming it. Okay? 298.8. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just told Facebook I was gonna wait, but I told them and they got excited, so then I got excited. So I said I'm gonna tell you guys. All right, so yes, um, um, I'm over 60 pounds lost. I'm sorry that I didn't get to share that 60 pounds with you guys, but I really wasn't in a the right frame of mind to to really share all of that with you guys. I needed to get me back, you know, privately. And then, you know, I come back. That's when I came back to you guys. And now I'm sharing the rest of the way with you guys. I am going to put, I'm not even going to tell you what I'm going to push. All I know is I'm going for broke, but I'm just gonna, um, I wanted to share that with you guys. 298.8, what, what, what? Water, 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 water water just remember that all right so um i'm out of here i took my alarm off a minute ago on my phone um hopefully my body will not automatically wake up in the morning that's what happens my body just i can go to bed at 10 o'clock which normally i don't go to bed at 10 i'm in the bed by 8 i'm sleeping by 8 39 so at 4 35 my eyes just open every day so I, with that, I just go and work out. But I took my alarm off. I'm going to try and rest a little bit later in the morning. Um, I did 12 miles today. And yesterday, I think I told you guys yesterday how much miles I did, which I was restless because I didn't, I didn't, my body felt like I didn't do enough. Oh, but today... Let me share some more. Today, I bought a weight vest. Somebody mentioned a weight vest. I bought a weight vest. Um, it was eight pounds. And oh, my goodness. Okay, the first five miles, easy. Smooth sailing. I hit it. I came back home real quick because somebody didn't want to get up for school today. So I had to hurry back and go wake my 17-year-old up to get on the bus. And then I left right back out and... In the midst of that, I ran into Walmart and got a weight vest. And, you know, you think eight pounds ain't nothing. You got that. What? A mile and a half into it, I, I felt like I was just dying. Like, literally. I'm like, oh, God, Jesus, somebody help me. <laughs> I felt like I was getting my ass whooped, literally. And then I did about two and a half miles with it on my chest. Then I couldn't take it no more. So then I took it off and I wrapped it around my hips. 
So then now I'm walking down the street like this because this eight pounds is on my hips and I'm working the hips and I'm walking down the street and people look at me like I'm crazy now because I'm all poofed up. I actually had on this color, but it's some clothes. Um, a friend of my boyfriend gave to my son that's like 5X, 6X and my son won't wear it because he said that's not his size. Them particular sweatsuit, so I wear it because I can layer up in it and still have a lot of room. So I had on like three pants and like three shirts and a scarf and a hat and gloves because that it was just that coat. And out the weight, the weight belt under the jacket, and I'm down the street like this, you know. But I um, mean, yeah, that weight vest is no joke. It that has been one of the most challenging workouts my second set of five five miles um that i've had to date is because i haven't been to the gym yet because of the injury on my shoulder i haven't lift weights yet because of the injury on my shoulder i haven't flipped my truck tire because i am really scared of damaging my shoulder and um so that's the most challenging workout I've had. Even walking 15 miles is not as challenging as it was doing that five miles with that eight pound weighted vest. It felt like 50 pounds was on me. It was crazy. But I was gonna take it back, but I changed my mind. I'm gonna beat that vest. That vest is not gonna beat me. So push come to shove. I'm gonna be walking with two eight pound vests. One on my chest and one on my hips. There it is. But anyway, let me go. It's already six minutes. I just wanted to share the good news with you guys. And I'll see you over the weekend. I'm going to show you my shakes and my, well, my green smoothie. Today is day four. And um, I'm doing okay. Feeling better. I'm okay. So I'm going to share with you over the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, okay? This is your Trini, a.k.a. You know who. See you later. Bye.